strangest part is I don't understand. Like, okay, so, so somebody did request me this video, right? So I'm gonna do it. All right. So remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. Right. But I don't understand how you need how you need 17 minutes to not be a simp. I could help you out in less than five seconds. Stop it. But I guess y'all requested it, so I'm going to do it. Hello, everybody. My name is Shade Too Sweet, Sweet, and I look like a white woman, and I don't know why. So we're going to turn down this brightness because I am black. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. So we're going to turn down that brightness a little bit. There you go. So hi, everybody. I'm Shade Too Sweet. You can call me Shade for short. And some people saw my other other video, and they, they told me, just to start off, that he is waiting to marriage to have sex. All right, cool. But they recommended me this other video by him, Simpin' Ain't Pimpin', and I'm like, okay, I feel like we have a pattern. So I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's jump into it. Come on, come on, sweetheart. Tell me, tell me what's your problem. So this is my I'm pretending to be a therapist on the internet outfit. Okay. Do you like it? Go for I'm it. I'm the kind of guy who knows what he wants and how he wants it. I got okay. big dreams. I got drive. With that being said, I have a lot of insecurities. And I'm going to tell you guys a little story about how recently I fell into a little simp pocket and ended up crying like a little punk. And not just in front of my friends. I, I did that. I cried in front of friends and a bunch of total randoms. That crying, that you gotta go find a window and put your hand on it while you cry. <laughs> that kind of crying. It's like, I thought I had this simp stuff under control. It's basically when you bring forward a certain energy and that person of interest is not matching that energy. You're bringing 90%, they're bringing 10%. Reciprocation, because I've learned this can happen in the middle of a relationship or even in the fourth quarter. You're that dog waiting at home in front of the door all day, waiting for his human. Human gets home, meh, that dog's a simp. The simpin' ain't pimpin'. Uh, Here we go. Um. I'm gonna just put this out there. If you you can tell when you're you can tell when that uh dynamic is starting to shift is when the person starts getting hella annoyed with you super quickly. When the person is super short with you, when the person finds arguments that are completely completely fucking random that doesn't make any goddamn sense that is when you can tell that the dynamic in your relationship is changing you can you can do one or two things you can confront that hey yo this is changing i don't like this shit you need to correct it or you can fucking leave oh hell no Bye. What's, what's happening those are the two options you have okay either you or you can be or you can be or you can be a third option, my bad. Stay there and then fucking complain that your life is going to shit. That is basically it. Okay. My main goal is to protect my heart. So okay. for a little over a year, I've been single, but taken, but single. I no. No, you haven't. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm single, but taken, but single. <laughs> That's you just a well-trained dog darling. That's what you are single but taken for single I bet I bet I bet you were I bet she was you was you weren't single she She was single You were loyal That's that's but I bet she wasn't single when it came time for y'all to go out to eat for you for her to pay for you to pay for trips for her to uh, get new shit, I bet I bet y'all you weren't singled in, right? She 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 you played the boyfriend, right? Babe, why do why does every sent video just reminds me of I that I rent a girlfriend anime? Literally, it does. It just reminds me of that because literally, you're not getting anything from this girl besides a girlfriend experience. You might as well get an escort. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying what, it, what what two consenting adults do is what two consenting adults do. I don't have a problem with that, but don't 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 dress it up. Don't lie to yourself. 
you like you can lie to everybody else but at the end of the day you gotta look yourself in the mirror and say like hey yo let me not lie to myself so before before i prejudge all of it because i have heard this situation from my homeboy several times maybe i got it wrong or maybe all my homeboys have already lived this story we'll see I met this girl mm -hmm. we'd be kicking it and mm -hmm. she was just chill about everything. I don't think I saw anything ever bother this girl. We're, we're gonna call her New York girl and we're gonna stop there because any more details and y'all gonna go down to the police station, you're gonna have a whole bulletin board with the red ribbons and the strings. I know how y'all are, y'all got safari open already and let's say, no, just listen, let's relax. Just enjoy the story, okay, it's tea time. And I will go on wax right now and say everything that happened is my fault. So, you know, I had New York girl and then I had other friend girls, but the more I hung out with New York girl, the less I wanted to hang out with these other friend girls. So then you caught feelings. That's what happened. That's it. You caught feelings. That's it. <laughs> okay. The friend girls would start sending me texts like, I miss you. Can I come over Friday or Saturday? I'm here hitting them back like, hmm, I'm busy that day. Like that's what's starting to happen. I'm not trying to be out here on no simp stuff. Okay. So I'm always watching people's energy and I'm trying to match it. If I fly into your town and you pick me up from the airport, when you come to visit me, I pick you up from the airport. You buy me flowers, I ain't buying you flowers, what I look like. That's past the girlfriend line right there, okay? I'm from the streets. Don't let the cleanup confuse you. I'm from the trenches, okay? I didn't see grass till the fourth grade. It was street, sidewalk, dirt. And I definitely didn't see no flowers until I was like 17 and a half years old. We could go into trust issues and all that fun stuff. We're just gonna skip all that because we're gonna get to the good stuff, me crying. You catch flights, not feelings. But stupid me, one day woke up and I got the thought, you know what, like one day if she randomly gets her boyfriend and is done with me, that's gonna like suck, like not being with her. I'm like 100% taking her for granted, so I should probably put a ring on it. I said, wait a minute, wait. Wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I don't tell her this, but I actually start really liking this girl. My plan is I'm gonna go there, let her know how I feel. I wanna put a ring on it. So I tell her, yo, let me just- Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, one goddamn minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Where the fuck did that come from? Where the fuck am I? Hey, we're not in a we're not in a we're not in a serious relationship. Is this why y'all requested it to me? We're not no 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 no. We're not in a serious relationship. I'm just not hanging out with my other friends that are girls okay i'm not hanging out with them so basically what i'm doing with them is i'm stringing them along okay that's basically what you're doing right you you have simps over here but you're stringing them along that's perfectly fine for you right but you decided you caught feelings and we 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 skipped a phase of saying hey yo i'm cutting off these random broads and it's just you now to marriage <laughs> That's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Are you dumb? Stupid or dumb? Huh? Just fly out. We'll kick it for three and a half days. Boom. But in reality, I'm going to fly out there, let her know how I feel, and we kick it for 10 days. That's the plan. So this is either going to be a really short trip or a really long trip. Oh, no. No. Why are you, you, oh my God. Okay, okay, maybe he was playing about the other part, okay? Don't set yourself up for the okie dokie. Do not set yourself up for that. Because what he just did was he put these, he, if this goes well, we will extend the trip. If this goes less than well, I'll keep this trip at the same amount of, um, at the same amount. So you know what normally happens? The trip normally falls in between that fuck shit stage as in it's too late to book the first flight and it's too far along to keep the second flight so you are in this fuck shit space got a fuck shit stack a fuck shit stack of of what the fuck is going on don't set yourself up for this i mean dead serious dog don't do it don't do it don't give all your feelings like that 
if y'all have been doing this long distance type in and out of relationship bullshit, I would say the best thing for you to do is tell her how you feel over the phone. You know why? Because of the fact that the matter is, you tell her how you feel over the phone right when you get there. It's not an awkward fucking situation. It's not awkward because you already said it. And you know what? If she didn't re like, if she didn't reciprocate those feelings, guess what? You just saved you some fucking money. You saved you some money. You can cry in the corner where you belong. Don't be crying on the phone with this girl. All right. She don't need to know that you, a, a, she don't need to know that you a, a bitch too. Wow. Really? But do not set yourself up for the okie dokie. This is, he is basically setting himself up. It's, this is horrible. So I get there and I let her know that I'm gonna be there for 10 days and her reaction, I noticed a little, mm. a day and a half after. I that means she didn't fucking want you to be there that long. 10. I get there, my sus radar starts going off like flags everywhere. I'm gonna keep it 100 P with y'all. My sus radar started going off. <laughs> oh my God, no, oh no. Weeks before, but again, that's just your inner Batman trying to put stuff together. You don't have any evidence. You're gonna look crazy. But anyways, that's a different story for a different video. No, it's not. Help me, help me, nigga. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It's not a different story from a different video. If you have if you have feelings that is telling you, hey yo, me going over there is not a good thing, fucking trust those feelings. That's what you call a gut feeling. Gut feeling, God feeling, you don't believe in God, Satan feeling, whatever feeling you feel that is telling your black ass, or or for my people who do not have a tan, yo, non-tan ass to go over there if it's telling you hey yo i shouldn't go over there there's something about this i can't put my i cannot put my finger on it but it is a feeling that is telling me that over there is not a good over there listen to that feeling okay all right listen to it all right not a feeling like oh i'm scared to approach a girl because i'm i'm scared that she might reject me not that feeling it's like is an internal feeling that you have about certain people. You cannot tell them why you don't, why you have these feelings about them. But your gut feeling is saying, don't do it. I'm not trying to put her business out on the street, so we're gonna skip a bunch of details here. On day three. She had another nigga. There you go. I t I, I, she had another nigga. She was fucking somebody else. She had side niggas, just like you had side bitches that you that you that you left on red. That's basically it. Keep going. I wake up in my hotel. She's off with her roommates, and she's with them all day. We're not talking four, five, six, seven hours. I mean. <laughs> all day mind you these are the same group of people that you see every day i fly across the country to come see your dumb butt and then you pick hanging out with them over hanging out with me you're, Word? you're not that important y'all but to me that's extremely disrespectful that's no it's not if you're the girl is bas basically she looked at you as a fuck buddy that's basically it. You don't stay around your fuck buddy. You fucking go home. Friends with benefits. You don't stay around your friends with benefits a lot because you're scared that they might catch feelings. And then you already said that you caught feelings and she felt it. And she's like, I don't want this shit. Let me go hang out with my girlfriends. Just to me. Or her other nigga. Let me just put it out there. Because she got another one. I don't. I haven't watched this before. I know she got another one. My two little cousins, Mina and Malik in Atlanta, they love me. They're always calling me like, Donde, please come see us, we miss you. I flew over Atlanta like, bye. My gaming buddies in Texas, I flew right over Texas, bye. Mm -hmm. These guys are always on Discord like, bro, we miss you so much, we haven't seen you since like the fourth grade when we saw grass for the first time, you remember that? I flew over my friends, I flew over my family to come see you. And it was at that moment that I realized- You are simp. Simp. Yes. Of one. Yes. I'm the puppy in my simp video waiting for their human to get home. Yes, and you are. Simping ain't pimping. Yum yeah, Shan. And so, this is how I transitioned slowly into the simp position without even knowing. So she gets back to my hotel room around 1:20 a.m. and I'm just like, oh, so how was your day? And she's like, it's fine. How was yours? Total deflection. When she gets out of the shower, 
I pull my Batman cards. I go in the room and I'm just like, uh, so are we gonna talk about this other dude or nah? And she's over here like, what, 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 what? Well, how'd you know there's another dude? Uh, Called it. Uh, well, I was a lifeguard for six years and I'm an animator. So pretty much all I do is read the room and study people's behaviors. I'm assuming it's one of your new roommates. We gonna talk about it or not? We're adults, you're technically single. You could do whatever you want. And this is her response. Well, he likes me. I don't really like him. And I'm sitting here listening like, hmm. Mm, mm, mm. So essentially you're telling me this is the dude you don't have to worry about, right? Because every time I've heard that before. So then she says to me, she says, you know what, tomorrow I'm just gonna shut it down. It's not, it's nothing, but I'm just gonna shut it down. And I'm here thinking, if it's nothing, cut this dude off in a text. No, 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 no. I need to do this face to face. She described you to your face. The audacity of these hoes, bruh. He doesn't mean that much. I'm gonna cut it off. He likes me, but I don't like him. She's talking about you. She's talking about you. That's who she's talking about. You, the audacity of these hoes, bruh. If a girl has male friends that love them, that want to be around them constantly 24 seven, and oh, they like him, they like me, but I don't like them that way. And, and, and she hasn't made it abundantly clear. That's a side nigga. She, that's a side nigga and waiting. She just waiting for you to fuck up so she can replace you with somebody. Bruh, I've seen this happen so many times. Listen, you're single. I'm single. Everybody's single. We're adults. If you want to be with this dude, be with this dude. No, 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 no. I would never work because of brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
be Mexican and die. You know why? Because of the fact of the matter is no one owes you a goddamn thing on this planet, okay? You played this single person game and you won a single person prize. If this is it, sorry, you, and the thing is, you kept reiterating to her that y'all were, you were single. You weren't single. You were you were together in your head and right when she reiterated right when you reiterated that to her she's like you're right i am single i don't deserve you don't you don't deserve anything i don't have to explain shit because we're not together good point you've got a good point what's your name broly good point broly mm. and why would a single person have to explain their feelings to another person if they were never together Stop playing that I'm single bullshit and then expecting relationship type shit out of it. It's not gonna work. People are gonna be hurt. Or even any closure? No. NYC girl doesn't have a voice in this story, so I'm gonna give her a little bit of a voice. I had ample opportunity to lock this girl down and I didn't. Could have put a ring on it, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Just because now all of a sudden I want to, I can't expect everybody's gonna operate on my timeline. So that's Facts. why I say technically this is all my fault. However, comma, do me one little favor. Let me know you got something else going on before I get on a plane. If you put me in a position where you gotta choose between me and the other dude, choose the other dude. She did. That was cold blood. She did though. <laughs> okay. Okay, Shay, you been an asshole. No, I'm not. She did. She did. But y'all, but you kept saying that y'all were single. So what the fuck, bruh? I don't play them single people games. I I tell people all the time. I don't play that single person game. I'm being dead serious. I I'm going. I'm gonna give you a grace period. And if you don't, if you do not approach within that grace period, I am sorry, sweetheart. We, we are, I will friend zone you and I will move on. It's no reason for me to keep trying to keep this will we, won't we think. This is not an anime, okay? This is not an anime. This is some bullshit. I don't deal with that shit. If you don't know what your feelings are, sweetheart, trust me. I will move on and I will find somebody who, who can articulate how they feel. I want you to be happy. I'm going to look trying to hold on to somebody that doesn't want to be with me. Oh, so you're just gonna keep texting that other dude? You think you're gonna be happier with him? Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. So I go over to the window and I'm watching her walk to her car and I feel it bubbling, but I'm like, no, hold it in. Hold it down, man. You are not going to cry. Do not put your hand on that glass and cry, no. Stop making out with your boyfriend. I can hear it from here. Don't have me out here looking stupid, please. Let me jump on wax and give New York girl a little bit more of a voice. I don't know if this is her personal thoughts or not, but I could imagine it's not a fun feeling being locked in the always maybe category and no. being locked in there for a year plus. I imagine that's not a fun spot, especially when you've tried to voice going beyond just that. So I'm sitting there in the hotel room by myself and I bust out my best Owen Wilson. Wow, I'm here for seven more days by myself, wow. <laughs> Nah, nix that. Cancel my flight, go downstairs to the front desk, cancel my hotel room, book the next flight out of there, call an Uber, pew! There you go. So I'm sitting there at the gate, mask on, hoodie up, and I'm sitting there and I can just feel my chest getting tight. But I'm not gonna cry though, okay? Not today, because I technically didn't even date this girl. And I'm definitely not crying over somebody that I didn't even date. Y'all, there was no music playing in this entire airport but I'm guessing the airport DJ was somewhere looking at surveillance cameras and he was seeing me and he was like, this guy right here, he looks like a really sad simp. I should play some love songs. Cause all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> I power through Lana and the Who very the next song that? starts to play. Where are you now that I need ya? Actually, let me dial it back a little bit because I sounded exactly like Lana and Bieber right there and I don't want to get any oh, copyright I, strikes. Oh, I don't know now. What, who the fuck is Lana? I'm sorry, I only listen to anime raps and um, old school hip hop and rock music. I have no idea who the fuck these people are. On my channel, so moving forward, I'm just not gonna try as hard, okay? All right, I'm not gonna cry, okay? 
I'm not gonna cry. This is Sparta. The third song comes on. Bang, 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 bang. Cause I really need somebody. I really need somebody. And I couldn't hold it in anymore. Oh, I love Aaliyah. If I let this go, you can't tell nobody. I'm talking about nobody. Okay, mm. a tear, a thug tear, <laughs> singular, dropped down from my left eye. There was this one girl who was sitting right across from me, and she was just staring at me. There's a rule. When you're out in public and you randomly make eye contact with a complete stranger, you just look away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody told her about the rule today because she was just there like. <laughs> so then I'm just like, bump this nonsense. I'm putting on my headphones. And if you're like me, you put about five to 10 songs into your rotation at a time and you play those same songs every day over and over. Mm -hmm. So I start playing those songs and they just weren't hitting. Nope. And I'm like, I just need something ratchet, something that's gonna make me feel empowered, that's gonna make me wanna start a fight in the club. And when you're in this mood, you don't know what you wanna hear, but when you hear it, you know. Yes. I can tell you right now what I wanted to hear because I've had some time to think about it. I needed to hear something like, it ain't nothing to cut that chick off. That's what I needed to hear. So I put my songs on shuffle and guess what was the first song that played? Jojo still got me on my. I don't even have the original Hotline Bling on my phone. <laughs> I have the Wii Hotline Bling background music remix. That's the one that was playing. Look it up. Then I get this notification on my watch. You're in a competition with Master. He just finished the workout and he's kicking your butt. <laughs> I already took one L today. <laughs> I'm not taking two. So I get up and I just start walking. Hotline Bling is still playing. Skip, skip, skip. And I don't wanna be somebody with that job. <laughs> <laughs> I love how my phone is acting like it can't get dropped off at Salvation Army. You ever had those days when you're having a bad day and you figure, oh, how can it get any worse? And then the universe starts kicking you in the face repeatedly? Yes. That. I started my steps and I know I look like a weirdo. I'm over here looking like, come on, come on, more from time in this piece. Save a tooth tiger. Come on. You got this. You need some I feel anime the universe raps. or God is trying to get me to cry and I'm not gonna break. Skip, skip, skip. I'm hearing all these sad songs. I'm skip, skip, skip. You don't have to say what. Skip, skip, <laughs> skip, skip. <laughs> now you're just somebody that. Skip, 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 skip. And then it happened. If I could stay, I will live in your way. So I Oh, I love that song. <laughs> but I know. Man, Whitney will get get y'all anytime. I think of you every step of the way. Mm -mm. Let me stop. Oh, Whitney, get you. <laughs> Whitney Houston, I will always love you. I really wish I was making this up to be funny, but it wasn't funny, and that was it. Whitney Houston, I will always love you. It starts playing, and I'm just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fell to the ground. Okay, I caught myself, okay? I have fast reflexes. I held onto that rail, and I just squeezed it. I couldn't hold it no more, y'all. I had busted out, like I ripped open. I was crying alligator tears. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not stopping. I kept on doing my laps. Everybody that I make eye contact with as I'm doing my laps is staring me down like their phone no longer entertaining. This dude's crying, what's going on here? There was this older couple that I keep walking by and it was obvious they were talking about me. Honey, 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 honey. Remember how they were talking about simps on the line? <laughs> I think that's one of them right there. First, the airport DJ's against me, then my cell phone's against me, and then I get a call from Lana. So I see a gate that has nobody in it, so I walk over, take out my phone, and I'm trying to do that thing where you answer the phone and you talk, but you don't sound like you're in the middle of crying. And this is me. Hello? Uh, yeah. How did it go? I forgot to tell you guys. Um. So, because of my trust issues, I haven't dated anybody in over five years. So I might have told one, two, or seven friends that I'm going out to New York and I'm most likely gonna try to put a ring on it. So they were waiting in great anticipation to hear how things were going in New York. Remember that part where I was just like, don't have me out here looking stupid? That. 
Lana was one of those people that I told, so she's calling a check-in on progress. So, hallelujah, go! <laughs> it, it could have been better. Are you crying? <laughs> Lana! All of a sudden, you just hear Lana typing on a keyboard. What's her last name? All I need is her last name. Just tell me her last name. I got you, boo-boo. Whenever you're crying and talking to a friend, there's always something that you have to repeat over and over. My phrase on that call was, It's always for some other dude, Lana. It's always for some other dude. <laughs> and I started feeling myself, and I added a second phrase. I'm never good enough, Lana. I'm never good enough. It's always for some other dude, Lana. I know you've been on the receiving end listening to one of your friends cry on the phone, and it's never a comfortable situation. You're right. It's never a comfortable situation. It's not. It's never a comfortable situation. It's either... It's either I shouldn't have trusted that bitch. I knew he wasn't gay. Why, Shay? Why, Shay? Why she, I, why she has been one of one of the phrases that what my whole boys have said. Why she? I knew he wasn't gay. She told me he was a friend. Why? I knew I couldn't trust her because she had a male roommate. Bruh, I've been on the receiving end of a lot of these calls, and what I will always say is this: this sounds. This doesn't sound like a simp. That turned into a pimp. This this is doesn't sound simping ain't pimping. This sounds like you had a girl on a. You sounds like you had a you had you had multiple chicks. You didn't make a you didn't make a uh you did not go and make a decision on that chick and you lost and you lost her. That's what this sounds like. This doesn't sound like simping. This literally sounds like you had this girl in this maybe territory and she got tired of being a maybe. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like, it sounds like if, let's just say if you were a football, you, 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 you were a coach and you always had these people on the bench constantly, 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 you gave them opportunities. You gave them some minutes to play, but they were never a starter. And what that girl do? She left you for, for a starting position somewhere else. And you can't get mad at that outcome. You, you're right. It is your fault. If you find a good girl, then find one. Actually value her. Make sure you go through the ropes of trying to get to know her. But if you know that she is somebody worth, worth settling down with, worth getting to know better, then pursue that. But never put a bitch on a pedestal to start with. Patient. And I'm crying and I'm explaining everything that's happened to Lana and then I realize I'm starting to talk a little bit louder Let me look around and see how quiet I need to be talking and there's another dude sitting right behind me This dude is like sitting back to back with me. I didn't see him or hear him come around. He's poofed I couldn't see his face. but You could tell the dude was sitting there like Hell yeah And guys, I'm not making this up to be funny. This all actually happened. The DJ's messing with me. My phone's messing with me. Lana called me. This dude randomly is eavesdropping on my conversation. I'm over here crying over some girl that I didn't even date. If that's not some simp stuff, I don't know what is. And Lana's a good friend, so she calms me down. Mm -hmm. And then they started boarding my plane, and I got on, and I never went back to New York. Just kidding, the food there is too amazing. So some of you guys might have seen back in the new year when I was posting on my socials, like, hey guys, I'm having some girl problems, not really feeling creative. This is the reason why I wasn't able to put out a video between January and March. Me and New York girls still have not talked. I have no closure. I have no idea what's going on. She let me know that when I'm ready to talk, that we can talk. I just take a really long time to heal, so maybe in like four years I'll hit her up like, Hey, so um, you remember that day? <laughs> mm -mm. And yeah, things could have been much- uh, Oh, look at the time, guys. That's all we have for this therapy session. But real talk, guys. Thank you for being patient with me from January until now. Believe it or not, it's been a very rough patch for me. We're, we're seeming like we're in the clear right now. I just have to make sure that my heart was right before I can get back on my YouTube. You feel me? All right, love you guys lots. Cut it. It's a wrap.
Okay. All right. I have final thoughts. Perfect. Perfect screenshot. I won't. I won't do him like that. There you go. Perfect screenshot. Final thoughts is this. If you have a good girl, make sure you lock them down. If you think if she shows potential that you really want to be with, lock them down. You cannot get mad at her if she moves on to someone else. Okay. But if you have been putting this girl in this type of situation where you will you maybe will you don't like this hop like you double dutching with these situations. I would always recommend you tell your feelings on the phone so she will have a so she will have adequate amount of time to actually digest those feelings and get back to you do not string a girl along don't do that that's that's kind of a fuck move don't do that because then you'll end up like him at the airport crying swallow sadness this wasn't a simp type behavior like as I was thinking it was it wasn't a simp type behavior what I think it was is you got too comfortable with her being on a bench and then she she was ready she she was already ready to sign a new contract and you didn't know it so that's basically how it is you get a good girl keeper all right if you want to play games you want to play games you want to play reindeer games fine don't catch feelings that's the best thing I could tell for you. So again, my name is Shay Tisley. You could call me Shay for short. Y'all wanted me to review this video, so I did. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This was a long one. So, like my grandmother always says, go support the original creator. Links for them birds down below. Go support me up here. And make sure you hit like and subscribe on my video. Write a comment. If y'all want me to review anything else, I will do it. As long as it has like a cartoon in it i can stretch it for my anime fans because at least it's some kind of cartoon we normally don't review people we like cartoons over here or anime my bad all right and like my grandmother always says so long animals and bitches feeling like the seven getting on their trail till you know i'm always stuck with them machetes that your mama's gripping bitch when she ain't serving the spaghetti hey, shit ain't sweet you said you got the number one well bitch you miss cause it ain't me